So our Noco refrigerator is just dead. Got a Not leak working. in the system. It's done. So we finally made the trip up here to replace the refrigerator. Last time on our RV repair video, we replaced the front air conditioner on our motor coach. It was not so fun when we had to do it in the hot, humid summer in Florida. We put the video link in the end. You can certainly replace the AC yourself. So check out the video to see how do we do it. Hi everyone, welcome back to Lovey Vlog Hello. Town. This is Rebecca and I'm this Mark. Is, we are in Golden, Mississippi. So we are having the MS RV solutions to replace the no-call refrigerator in our Tiffin Phaeton motor coach and change to a residential refrigerator. So Daniel and Carl from MS RV Solutions is going to do the job for us. We heard about good reputation. That's why we come all the way from Florida to here to have them to replace our no-call refrigerator. They are very nice and very generous. They are having us to film their work and how to take the no-call refrigerator out and put in a new one. So we are going to show that in the video. So if you are thinking of replace the refrigerator in your RV and don't know how to do it, and keep watching this video and we are going to show every step. Let's check it out. Okay, let's go. So we didn't get the chance to film our refrigerator when Daniel and the car take it out, a local refrigerator in our coach. But there's another coach is here and they are going to do the same thing. This refrigerator is still good. So why they want to change it is because the door open this way will hit the wall here so they cannot fully open it. So that's why they come to uh, MS RV Solution to get another uh, residential refrigerator. Although this is not a, a no-call refrigerator, but the process is similar. So you can still watch this video and know how to remove the refrigerator out. We have break down step by step on replacing the RV refrigerator. So our viewers can just follow the steps. But first, gather the tools that are needed for this task. Right tools get the job done easier and faster. We list all the tools that have been used for this job on our website. Go to www.lovyplotone.com to get the list and the notes for every step. Let's get started. We'll take the front off of it. It gives us more clearance to get the new one in. We probably do four to eight a month. We've done as many as six in a, in a week before. Every day we've done two in a day before. Can you get it loose at the top? Other side. Oh, did you get it? That looks like it's going. And it's just barely hung. Hold on. It's just barely hung. the front wood part down because we asked them to keep it in case we need to do some you know more cabinets so we can have a matching color here's a tip for you they use this kind of hydraulic lift table to move the fridge in and out it makes so easy get a product link on our website 
We go face down, the doors try to open on us, so we okay. can turn around and we'll, like I said, we'll lay it on that ledge. I'll, I'll lean it on, we'll lean that down, I'll hold the cart. All right. And then we'll just grab the hunt. What, let, let it sit what you do is you put your feet under, that way it won't hurt the floor. <laughs> <laughs> To take the refrigerator out of the coach is actually require four manpower. So if you are only one person, if you are strong enough, maybe you can do it, but safer to just have more helping hands. It will make things easier. Disassembling the uh, the breaker box, we have to lower it down three inches to right. get the clearance on the for the new one to fit. So we modify the cabinet so it'll look factory. Disassembled the, uh, the front of the cabinet, and now we're mm -hmm. putting it back together. Bracing. We mm -hmm. gotta, we gotta put the studs in. Mm -hmm. Add the bracing. Put the floor back. So this will have to be cut down. The vent is going to stick up higher. Mm -hmm. See, it's actually sitting up right here. Right, the floor is going to be sitting. The floor is going to be sitting higher, right here. Oh, so okay. I've got to cut this down oh. to be able to drop the vent. So I've got to drop it that much. I got to drop it All an right. inch. Mm-hmm. Just screw right here. Yeah, it can be difficult sometimes. The Norco refrigerator. You were saying that over there, that thing you've just cut off, it right. got wet it's, once. Yes, before. it's been it's been wet. It's and what, been wet. Norco's are when they go through a defrost mode, they're bad not to um, the pan's bad to stop up and and the little. The little nozzle that it drains mm -hmm. down in like the hose is bad to uh, to stop bad. up also, and what it'll do is it'll I back flow you. down the back side of your refrigerator. Uh -huh. It'll come out, and it'll come out really? on the front. You'll never know it. Yeah, if you have a Norco, uh, you need to keep an eye on that mm -hmm. that line to make sure it's not back feeding mm -hmm. water back down the back side of your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's the good thing about it. Residential, it doesn't. You don't have to worry about that. Mm -hmm.
Oh, right here. Yeah, see, it'll, it'll sit right up on it. So mm -hmm. when that particle board gets wet, it just deteriorates. Kind of like, kind of like the press board on the bottom of these slide outs where they get wet. Mm. They're bad to deteriorate like that too. All right. So what I'll do is I'll pull that all back together and screw me some, screw me some screws in it. So you need to add the frame for the re new refrigerator? Yeah, the, the new one's actually lighter. Uh huh. Um, but we just reinforce when they. When they put these in at the factory, basically there's just a few screws and some oh. staples holding it together. Oh. Uh, we just feel better about it when we put it back together that it's more secure than it was when it when it was built. We just want it to be mm -hmm. strong. Yeah, once we get this done, it, it can't move anywhere because basically it's everything's pushing against the floor, yeah. screwed in at all the bracing, and then the, the floor sitting on top of it. So it, oh, it basically okay. it can't come out. Mm -hmm. More secure now than when it left the factory when we get done with it. So this is the base for the refrigerator. After getting the knuckle out and getting preparation done for the new residential fridge, it's finally the time to get to the exciting part. We have the Whipple side-by-side -side residential fridge, which fits perfectly in our coach. This is the ice maker kit on the new refrigerator. So we need to assemble it before we install it. This is for the ice maker quarter line.
internal uh, and underneath Norco's and all have to have all they can get and it ain't enough sometimes. It's, it's considered 22, it's 21.7. Uh -huh. It maxes out the size of yeah. the, that, that hole in that, uh -huh. that cabinet. See, it goes 28 inches deep. The box, uh -huh. of, the box of this cabinet, the box of this refrigerator is 28 inches and it goes, it leaves you about a half inch against the wall. Uh -huh. And then of course it's uh, 66 inches tall, which yeah. is why we gotta lower it. And then the width yes. is, the width is right. almost 33, which is what the width of this right. opening is. There's How about no, the heat? Yeah, yeah. Vent. Yeah, because it's it all it all circulates underneath. It's okay. got a fan underneath, and okay. it's circ it, like in a house. So when you roll it uh -huh. in into a cabinet space and you build your cabinets around it, it's circulating the air underneath. Mm, okay. And basically, all you have to do is blow off these fans every once in a while. Uh huh. You know, like you would in the house. <laughs> Will I be able to reach it? Ah, uh, so maybe, <laughs> maybe. Man, you are the we're in the same boat. I feel your pain. Uh, later for sure. Now. How tall are you? Five two. I'll tell you. Just taller than no call. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sticking over like that. Oh, that's the, for the traveling. That's just oh. where it won't fly out. Okay. If you sling, out. if he, you sling out over, you wreck, <laughs> and you're not worried about it. You know, <laughs> you, only when you're, you're traveling, just yeah. make it a habit, uh -huh. starting today, to okay. put it on there. Okay. I know I say asking a lot, but uh -huh. just you know, just make it a habit. Yep. MS RV Solutions totally understand RV full-time living. If they cannot complete the service in one day, they will get your coach back to where you can take it back to RV park and sleep comfortably for the night. That was the first thing we worry about. We didn't have to find a hotel to stay overnight. 
I'm so happy to have a new fridge. Hey, happy wife, happy RV life. That's the rule of thumb. Lots of people ask, do you need to upgrade the inverter in order to run the residential? This is the inverter we have in our 2007 Tiffin Phaeton. We send a picture of it to MSRB to determine if upgrading inverter requires. We were told that this inverter can run residential refrigerator, so no upgrade needed in our case. With that being said, we have a modified design wave inverter. It's an improvement for power over square wave inverter, but it can shorten the lifespan of all AC powered electrical devices. Some will recommend changing to a pure sine wave inverter for best performance and the life of your appliances. If you leave it on the, the inverter, that's why it's blinking. Uh -huh. So look, as soon as you unplug, that inverter will automatically power up that, that refrigerator so there's no power, there's no downtime between power. As soon as it unplugs it initially, immediately, it, it takes power over. Oh. You don't want the compressor kicking on and off, kicking on and off. Uh -huh. by, yeah, that's, that's not good right. for it. Not over a long period of time, it can, yeah. cause, it can cause it to short out. Mm -hmm. You used to work for Tiffin, right? Mm -hmm. 14 years, part time and full time. That's where I got all my experience. Very efficient to just come here and have your professionally done all these things. They replaced this refrigerator, including lower the breaker box in just like four hours. Four hours. Wow. That's, the That's amazing. Mm -hmm. The, the first refrigerator we've done took us uh, nine and a half hours. Nine and a half hours? Yeah, we, we've done them in as little as three hours. Uh -huh. So besides the change in the refrigerator, what other jobs do you do? Uh, flooring, carpet, right. you know, like that. We do yes. a lot of uh, slide-out toppers, changing oh. to the umbrella material, changing out window on and fabrics, like water leaks. Um, we do a lot of uh, general repair work. Uh -huh. uh, anything from roof reseals, you know, replacing windows, adjusting slide outs, slide mechanisms. Uh, we don't do the slide floor. Not we would floor. just change like the drive shaft part of it, uh, the motor, from the gear pack, any of that kind of stuff we would change. We are so glad to have MS RV Solutions to change out the bridge in our coach. They did such a great job! And huge thanks to them for sharing their professional knowledge to our viewers. Give them a call if you need any repair on your RV. They can do pretty much of any general repairs. MS RV Solutions also replaced the carpet throughout our coach. It's gonna be our next RV repair video. Subscribe to our channel now and stay tuned for seeing our next video. Don't forget to go to our website to get the details and the tour list for changing out the fridge and other great perks. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the little bell for getting notification for our next episode. Give us a like if you enjoyed this video. Comment below if you have any question. You can also find us on Instagram, Pinterest, Facebook, and Patreon.